going to go up North Angela Rosier in St. Lucie County talking about how their first day of school started in St. Lucie County. Angela. Well, the first day back to school here in St. Lucie County is turning out to be an exciting day. Look at the line here outside Fairlawn Elementary School here in Fort Pierce. <laughs> Students got a chance to walk down the Tunnel of Hope, which is filled with inspirational messages. We love the Tunnel of Hope. We do a Tunnel of Hope each year where we get community members around and they line up and we create a tunnel for the students to walk through where we cheer them on and just show them the love that they're going to feel each and every day of the year. Most of the students we talk to are glad to be back in school. You're happy? Why? Because I'm going to second grade. Are you happy to be back at school? Yeah. Why? Because I get to see my teachers and friends again. And so are parents. Well, I'm excited that he's back, you know, to school and that he enjoys summer, but it's time to get back on track, you know. <laughs> but yeah, I'm excited for all the kiddos here and the community, you know, going back to school. Bus drivers got off to an early start Monday morning. I'm so excited to see all of my babies and we're excited to transport all of our students to success each student every day. The school superintendent was at the South County bus compound in Port St. Lucie to welcome them back. It's the first day. It's a new year. It's always an exciting time if you're a student, a teacher or any member of our staff. Staff members at Fairlawn Elementary hope these messages of inspiration will remain with the students throughout the day. We also talked to the principal and she hopes by the end of the day these students are filled with a sense of empowerment. In Fort Pierce, Angela Rosier, WPBF 25 News.